hello, hello. Happy Tuesday, everyone. This is Cherie Cofield, your stress manager, and you are tuned in to Stress Less Radio with Cherie Cofield. I am super excited uh, to have all the listeners and our two dynamic guests for tonight's show. Uh, we have J.W. Foreman, who is going to pour into you guys this evening and talk about youth and stress. So, so often people feel that um, it's only adults that have stress or cares or worries, but actually our kids are, are stressed, and he's going to talk about some of the methods that he uses to help our youth in, uh, with his platform. And then our second guest is going to be Candace Camille, who's a workout machine. She's going to tell us how to de-stress, how to relax, how to rejuvenate our minds and our bodies, through staying physically fit. And if you know Candace, you know that she is in shape. So I am looking forward to talking to her about how she stays looking so good. But you know how we do every week. We tell you to grab that glass of wine, grab that hot cup of coffee or that cup of tea, kick your heels up and relax because for the next hour, it is all about you. It's time for you to relax, get your mind rejuvenated, and get educated on ways to relax and de-stress throughout your week. It's Tuesday, so you've only had one day, so hopefully you have not had too much stress uh, so far this week. Um, As far as the weekend, oh, my goodness, I had a dynamic weekend. Um, If if you follow me on Facebook or Instagram, all your social media sites, you know for a fact that the fifth annual Let's Get Serious Health Wellness Fitness Expo was a huge success. I mean, we packed the place. We were at a new venue uh, for the first time. We were at the Radisson North Baltimore Hotel in Timonium, Maryland, and let me tell you, we had over 1,300 attendees registered, and we packed the building. I mean, everybody came with their liveliness. They were energetic. They were ready to work. Let me tell you, the, the workout floor stayed packed the entire time. So the vendors were like, well, are we going to stop because they don't want to stop? I'm like, oh, yeah, we're going to have a break, you know, around 12-ish. But it was just dynamic. People really came out. They were ready to take an interest in their health, their wellness, get tested. We had free massages. It was just a day of health, wellness, and fitness. So I want to thank everyone. If you're listening and you are uh, on the show or listening to the show right now, thank you so much for your support. To all our instructors, you were dynamic. The instructors brought their A games. I'm telling you, we, we did both for Zumba, kickboxing, boot camp. I mean, it was just a day full of fun on Saturday. So, of course, Sunday I had to rejuvenate and relax my mind and my body, and I had to just rest. So I ate breakfast and got back in the bed. I had to relax, and I had to de-stress myself. But totally, totally uh, pleased with the way that the event turned out. I'm so looking forward to the sixth annual Let's Get Serious Expo, which I'm already in the process of planning. It's being held Uh, April the 2nd of 2016, and actually the registration is already open. So if you're one of those planners like I am and you want to be a vendor, a sponsor, or you just want to sign up early to be an attendee, go ahead and visit letsgetserious2016.eventbrite.com and you can get the ball uh, to rolling. So thank you so much again to everyone who attended. Um, If this is your first time tuning in to Stress Less Radio, um, again, it's just an hour of relaxation, rejuvenation, and education. We have special guests who pour into you to talk about uh, their area of expertise to help you with your mental, spiritual, or your physical health. And that's what our two guests uh, this evening are going to do. They're going to talk about ways that they de-stress, ways that they help others to de-stress. Also, if you're just listening to uh, the show for the first time, what we do is we give you a relaxation destination. Each week, we give you a relaxation destination. And this week, the relaxation destination is Cozumel, Mexico. And the reason that we give you this relaxation destination is because we want you to do your creative visualization exercises throughout the week. When you're feeling stressed, when you're feeling overwhelmed, when you just need that mini mental vacation, you don't have to work really hard to think about where you want to go. We're going to give you that destination. So Cozumel, Mexico is the relaxation destination for this week, and the weather there is 83 to 85 degrees uh, during the day, and in the evenings it's 69 to 71 degrees. So it sounds like a place I really would like to be right now, (laughs) but you can use this uh, relaxation destination to do your mini mental uh, vacation and your creative visualization. But make sure you wear your sunscreen. We don't want you getting getting sunburned. 
<laughs> also, while you're in Cozumel, think about the beautiful spas and the beaches. And for you drinkers, they have bars and grills. And then snorkeling, they have plenty of water sports to engage in. Think about the beautiful reefs that they have, reefs that they have in uh, Cozumel. So that's our relaxation destination of the week, Cozumel, Mexico. Next, we're going to give you a stress tip of the week. Each week here on Stress Less Radio, we do a stress less tip to carry you through your week. So this week's stress less tip is to make yourself a priority. Make yourself a priority. What does that mean? That means that you're going to take out time from your busy schedule to relax, treat yourself extra special, whether it be by taking a trip, taking yourself out for a meal, getting a massage, just going and doing something that you really, really enjoy. You're going to take that time out to treat yourself extra special this week. So make yourself a priority. Remember, your health is your most prized possession. Without your health, you have nothing. You can have all the money in the world, all the other possessions, all the worldly materials that you can have. But if you don't have your health, how can you really enjoy those things? So we want you to be around for a very long time, and that's why we encourage you to stress less. Relax. Let, all, let go of all that stuff that really has no significant meaning in your life. Schedule time for yourself by writing it in on your calendar. Don't just say, oh, I'm going to take some time for myself. No, actually schedule yourself in on your schedule. And we have Carrie Williams is on the line, and we're going to give her a chance to, to uh, say what she has to say on our line. Hi, Carrie. How are you? Scared. Thank you so much for having me on your show. I have actually been listening to you and enjoying it, and I have to say that I am so happy that you're going to be one of our guests this Saturday for our annual Go Red for Women event. And um, thank you so much for the invite to come on your show and discuss it with your guests and supporters. So thanks for the opportunity. And um would you like me to go ahead and talk about it now? Yeah, that's actually our next that's actually the next thing that I do. I let the the listeners know what we have going on around in the DC, Maryland and Virginia area so that they can get involved. We can get to meet each other and we can help each other as a community. So please tell tell everyone about your upcoming event that I'm so excited to be a part of, of on Saturday. Okay. Well, it's called the Go Red for Women, and some of us may be aware of what that means, and it's actually a campaign put on by the American Heart Association. This is the 12th year that the American Heart Association is sponsoring this event, and what it basically tells us, Cher, is that one out of three women suffers from heart disease, and it's the number one killer amongst women. And heart disease is known to be the silent killer because so many of us women are not aware that we have this disease because it manifests itself in so many different ways. It's hidden. It's not the typical signs that may be found in men where, you know, you see the stereotypical holding of the chest and so forth. For us, it could be... um, something that we're just thinking it's just regular. You know, as women, Cher, mm-hmm. we we live busy lives, we multitask, and we take care of everyone but ourselves. <laughs> so even when we're having um, little symptoms, it takes us forever for us to go and check, you know, that something is wrong. So what the American Heart Association has started doing over the years was really to start to educate us women and empower us And for us to not only know what the contributing factors are, but what we need to do to minimize the risk. So my partner and I, Andrea Sue Williams, along with my organization called the Civil Lining Partnership, every year we bring this in our community, that we have this annual event and we bring in experts and guest speakers like yourself to come in and tell us what are the things that we should be doing to minimize the risk of us having heart disease. We know for some people it could be genetics, but we know for others it's um, behavior that can be changed. It's lifestyle that can be changed. Just changing our diet, just exercising more, just um, having less stress in our life. Those are the three main factors that impact us for heart disease. So, again, this annual event is all about that. Um, we're going to do it in a really fun way. Of course, it's 
all red because red represents the heart, so that's why it's called Go Red. And we want people to come out to not only be educated and empowered, but also to um, share with each other. You know, we're so happy to have yourself out. You're coming out to talk about your area of expertise, which is stress management, and I can hardly wait to hear you because just listening to your program and and that tip that you gave out about the travel tip, I was like, oh, yes, I'd love to be there myself. So we're looking forward to your um, presentation about stress. We're going to also have one of your guests who's on tonight, and I'm not going to take away her shine, but Miss Candice <laughs> Camille, and she's a, um, yes. a awesome wellologist who, you know, and I'm sure Candice will talk a lot about what she does, but I'm so honored to have her as well, and she's going to be one of the speakers who's going to talk about how diet um, and, and exercise impact us. You know, she has a very holistic approach with her nutrition, and she's one of those people who believes that and we are what we eat. So, you know, it, it's a new new nutrition. We have to really change our mindset, change our diet, and we'll be surprised how we can really not even reverse but, again, minimize our risk. We also want to give a shout-out to um, Ms. Delaney Watkins, who is everybody knows. She's like the exercise guru, and she has all these different exercise programs. So she's also going to come on and talk about, at least come to the event, and discuss how exercise is so important to us as women, you know, getting up and being active. I heard you talking about your um thing that you did this weekend, your wonderful event where people came out and it was all about people exercising and moving and, and just being healthy, all these healthy lifestyle. because as you know, Cher, and your guests know, most of us are living longer lives. We want to live healthy lives and we want to improve the quality of our lives and not only just for ourselves to pass down to generations. So again, I always tell everyone that Education is empowering. You know, knowledge is power. And the more you know, the more you're able to help yourself be better. So, again, That's this right. event is called the Go Red for Women, and it's a mm-hmm. it's a benefit. So we actually raise money. We raise funds that we send to the American Heart Association, and we just really are telling them, you know what, thank you for really making heart disease the forefront of what you do. Thank you for thinking of us women, having us women realize how important that important this disease is, and what is a lifestyle change that we can do to really, again, minimize it. We want to be here for our children. We want to be here for our family. And, again, a lot of these diseases not only can they be prevented, but at least we can live better lives to really reduce the impact that they have on our health. So it's this Saturday. Yes. Um, April 11th, the time is at f- is 4 to 8 p.m., and it's at Irie Cafe. This is out in PG County in Lanham, Maryland. And, again, I am so happy and honored, really, to have you ladies as wellness experts that are going to really come out and educate us, and not only educate us and share, you know, life experiences with us, but really empower us. This this event is all about empowerment, all about education in a fun, educating way. Awesome. Can you give them a website so if they are interested in getting a ticket to come and go red with us this Saturday, they can go ahead and do that? They absolutely can do that. They can go to the www.goredforwomen, um Women Day Party Event 2015, and I'll repeat that, and I can always send you the link. I actually don't have my computer with me, but it's the Go Red for Women Day Party Event on Eventbrite. So if they go to that link, they'll be able to purchase their tickets. The tickets are $15 in advance and $20 at the door. Again, it's a fundraiser, so we actually encourage people to also to make a donation. If you feel like, you know what, you really want to come and support, but you may not be able to pay that amount, that's okay. Just pay whatever you can. It's really about you coming out and getting this information. So, again, please visit our website at Go Red for Women Day Party Event 2015, or anyone can contact me 
My contact number is 443-878-5600. Again, it's 443-878-5600. They can contact me if they need tickets, if they need um, any other information, any details about this event. We're really, really excited to really bring this to the community and bring it to the forefront. Again, our life, our healthy lives are so important for us to really lead the quality of lives that we, we want to, to lead. Awesome. Thank you so much for tuning in to Stress Less Radio. Thank you for uh, coming on to tell us about the event this Saturday, and, and uh, we hope you stay tuned in. Yes, I will. Thank you so much, and I really right. appreciate you and continue doing what you're doing, and we will see you on Saturday. All right, see you on Saturday. Uh, now, each oh, thank you. Each week on the show, we talk about different events that are going on in the D.C., Maryland, and Virginia, so I'm so glad that she was able to call in and talk to you a little bit about heart health because stress is directly related to your heart health as well because stress is also uh, like a slow poison. Over time, it damages your body, uh, it, your skin, your heart. It just, it just does a whole number on your body. So we want to manage your stress effectively. Some other events that are coming up soon in the D.C., Maryland, and Virginia, we have uh, Capri Smith is having her big telesummit, and she has some amazing speakers that uh, she's going to be doing. It's going to be a month-long telesummit. So you can find out more information about that at caprismith.com, C-A-P-R-I-C-E, Smith. Dot com, CapriSmith.com, and I hear that she's offering some amazing deals um, this week on tickets to that teleconference, so um, definitely jump on that, CapriSmith.com. Also, uh, coming up in August, we have the African American Authors Expo that's coming up. Uh, Patricia Johnson, every year she does this event, African American Authors Expo. She's having it out at the same location that we had the uh, Let's Get Serious Expo out in Timonium, Maryland, at the Radisson North Baltimore Hotel. So make sure you check that out. Her website is uh, aaaexpo.com, aaaexpo.com, if you want more information about that. Also, there's a Soul Vegan Festival coming up real soon, a really good vegan restaurant, the Land of Kush. They're having their vegans coming up, um, and you can uh, look at thelandofkush.com to find out more information about that. We already told you about the Go Red event this Saturday, and then uh, we also have Playtime is Over Conference with Cheryl Wood, and that's going down, I believe it's November the 6th and the 7th, or either the 7th and the 8th. Don't quote me on that, but it's the Playtime is Over Conference, and if you went last year, oh my goodness, it was amazing. The speakers, their energy, women in business just trying to, to push forward and do bigger and better things. Also... On April the 10th in Washington, D.C., um, the Stiletto uh, Women Business Owners Symposium with Delana Keller Watkins. She's a member of the Maybe Help You Radio Network family, and she's going to be gathering everyone together to learn, connect, and collaborate. And so you can visit that website at stilettowbodc.eventbrite.com, and you can get a special discount if you use the promo code Delana. D E L A Y N A. So that's Stiletto W B O D C dot eventbrite dot com. Promo code is Delena because Delena Keller Watkins is the host of that event. So make sure you check out all these amazing events going on in, in the DC, Maryland, and Virginia area. All right. Now we're gonna take a quick commercial break and when we come back, we're gonna talk to that to the dynamic, Mr. J. W. Foreman. Just to tell you a little bit about him. J.W. Foreman is, a, is an award-winning author of 11 published books. He might know a little bit something, you know, 11 published books, including two bestsellers. He has me beat. I only have one. Two bestsellers. In addition to writing, he conducts a wide variety of uh, writing workshops for schools, including elementary, middle, high school, and even uh, college level. So he's an accomplished public speaker. Um, his audiences have included the National Civic Club, community business leaders, Churches, sales forces, upper management for successful corporations. He's a member of the National Speakers Association, and he's been featured on many television, radio, and newspapers. Uh, and more information about him, if you want to look him up, can be found at jwforman.com. So when we come back from our quick commercial break, 
will reintroduce Mr. J.W. Foreman, and he's going to pour into you about youth and stress. Don't go anywhere. You're tuned in to Stress Less Radio with Cherie Colfield on May We Help You Radio Network. Hey, Chef Jovi here of the Eat Experience Radio Show. Join me 10 a.m. every Thursday to explore recipes, best restaurants, and food spots in and around the country. I look forward to receiving your comments, so follow us on Spreaker.com to tune into the show. That's S-P-R-E-A-K-E-R.com. And search M-W-H-Y Radio to join me every Thursday, 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, for the Eat Experience Radio Show. And remember to share your Eat Experience. Hello, I'm Sherelle of Fit and Flow Yoga Radio. Wake up with me every Friday at 6 a.m. and have a wonderful yoga experience. We'll explore meditation and discuss how various yoga postures can help relieve your everyday stress. We'll also make the connection between our faith and wellness. Follow us on Spreaker.com to tune into the show. That's Spreaker, S-P-R-E-A-K-E-R.com. And also search MWHY Radio to join me every Friday at 6 a.m. for Fit and Flow Yoga Radio with Sherelle. And until next time, surrender to your strength and always embrace your flow. Hi, this is Benita with Off the Vine. Join us on Fridays at 3 o'clock for Fun Talk About Wine. This season, I'm going to put this little sommelier certification to work as we expand the conversation to talk about beer and spirits, too. Meet more exciting special guests, and you never know just who may show up at the studio. Off the Vine with Benita on the May We Help You Radio Network, giving you something to whine about. The Queen Esther Radio Show is live every Wednesday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Join me, Jessica Taylor. And me, Jason Mosley, to be entertained by authors, artists, and spiritual leaders. We look forward to being a blessing in your life every Wednesday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Only on the MWHY Radio Network. We are back, and you are tuned in to Stress Less Radio with Cherie Colfield, your stress manager. And as I mentioned before our commercial break, this is your hour to relax, rejuvenate your mind and your body, and get educated. And what better person to help you get educated this evening than Mr. J.W. Foreman? Again, he's an award-winning author, 11 published books. So I said, you know, he may know a little something-something. We'll see in a minute. But two of those books are bestsellers. And in addition to his uh, written work, he, he does workshops, and he's a part of the National Speakers Association. You know, he's world-renowned on TV, radio, and newspapers. So without further ado, I would like to welcome Mr. J.W. Foreman to tonight's show. Hello, Mr. Foreman. How are you? I'm doing great, Cherie. Thank you for having me. Thank you for taking time out of your busy schedule. You're doing a lot over here, 11 books. 11 books in the last six years. Wow. Wow. So it's been You've a been fun busy. journey. Yeah. Well, that's the way I started to stress less. I started journaling, and it ended up turning into a book. So so is that one of the ways that you de-stress? Is it it right? is. It, it's, it's probably my awesome. number one way of de-stressing, just writing. Awesome. Awesome. Tell us a little bit more about yourself, what I didn't mention, and then what else and, and some of the other things that you're involved in. Well, I, I appreciate you having me on uh Talking about our youth today and some of the stress that they deal with is is near and dear to my heart, and I'll tell you how I got there. About six years ago, I left uh, the banking industry. I'd been in that my entire life, but I'd always wanted to write a book. So I said, okay, I'm okay. going to give it a shot. So back in 2009, I decided to try it, and I said, told my wife, I said, okay, I'm either going to fail miserably at this or, or make a go at it, but either way, it'll be out of my system. <laughs> And, uh, and six years uh-huh. later, going strong. So uh, we've been blessed in that aspect. But uh, as you know, once you get a book, a couple books, you know, or the title author next to your name, you start getting invited to speak at different places. 
So uh-huh. they're speaking different places, and then all of a sudden I'm invited to come in and start conducting writing workshops at different schools from elementary to, to college. And that's when I really started to notice uh, the stress that today's youth is under. And it's a lot different mm-hmm. from when I was in school, I can tell you that. Uh, they have a lot more going on in their lives and a lot more issues that are causing them stress. So the more of these workshops I started conducting, especially in the middle school and uh, in high schools, talking to these folks, and really uh, they, they really opened up and were letting me know, here's the, the issues going on in our lives, here's what's causing stress, uh, Uh Talk to some guidance counselors, principals, teachers, parents, other folks like that, and uh, came to the point where I decided to uh, put everything that I had learned from these folks into a young adult series. Uh, And that came out, the first two books of that series came out last year. It's called the Frontline Series. And I take a look at these issues that the youth are going through and give them constructive ways to deal with those. Wow, wow. And what I know I have a 20-year-old, and I have a 14-year-old. And let me tell you, I remember going to the school one day, <laughs> and I should have known not to use the bathroom. <laughs> but oh, I walked no. into the bathroom, and I'm going into the ladies' bathroom, let me mind you. Well, I, there's one girl bent over, and the other girl is behind her with music just pumping like she's a guy behind the girl. <laughs> and I'm just like, I, I just stood there like in shock, like, are you kidding me? And you know how before, if we, where we were growing up, if an adult walked in, we would jump and run or something or try to, you know, straighten up. They kept right on like I wasn't there, like, oh, well, I guess I have to call my mom and tell her I'm gay. And I'm like, oh, my goodness, what is going on with our youth? They really need a lot of help. So I appreciate the work that you are doing. Tell us oh, a little absolutely. bit more about the, front, the Frontline series. Tell us a little bit more about that. Uh, the Frontline series, uh, the first two uh, books are out. The the third one in the series will be out this summer. It just follows an ensemble group, a uh, cast of high school characters, and you know all the different issues that they go through. Uh, I know in the first book we talked about the, the main topic was bullying, but I, I know there's been a lot of books out there on bullying, and at, by this point, you know, sadly, it still exists, but we all know that bullying is wrong. And I wanted to mm-hmm. take a look, come at it from a different angle in the first book. So instead of looking at it from the aspect of is bullying wrong or not, I took it from the aspect of if you see bullying occur, do you have a moral obligation to do anything about it? And in these books, right. I never try to give a, you know, a black or white, yes, no, here's what you do. But I give enough information on both sides of the argument to get students, to get young adults thinking for themselves and forming their own Uh opinion. So if they're ever faced in any of these type of situations, that they can know where they stand on the issue. Right, right. Now, what other other, um, issues, like with stress, do you see with youth? Uh, A lot of it is, uh, a lot of it comes down to self-confidence, believe it or not. Mm. And and I I tell them, I've come up with... uh, Three simple life lessons, and I actually get into a lot of schools and talk to uh, talk to the students and the faculty these days. A lot of it comes back. People are just, and, and this isn't just a youth thing. This is also we adults are guilty of this as well. People just uh, feel inferior. They're, they're scared to uh, be who they really are for fear of failing. Mm. So one one of the uh, first lessons that I try to get across to the youth today when I speak to them and even through uh, through my books is to don't, not be afraid to step outside of your comfort zone. And, and even for, for us adults, you know, that, that's a hard thing. You know, by definition, you know, we're comfortable where we are. It's safe. You know, we like being comfortable. But when you step outside of our comfort zone, that's when true growth happens. And, and believe it or not, when we step outside of our comfort zones, that is truly a stress reliever. Because when yeah. we step outside of our comfort zones, uh, only one of two things are going to happen. And they're both positive outcomes. They're both stress relievers. One, we're either going to discover a passion that we didn't know that we had before. It's something that can change our life and we can add to our repertoire and continue going down that road. Something we enjoy, something we're good at that we were unaware of. Or Uh we're going to discover, you know what, this isn't something I like. It's not something I'm that comfortable with. But at least now we know. know, and And it wasn't that bad. And it's a lot better than fear of the what if, the unknown. You know, that, that causes probably more stress than anything, that what if question. You know, what if I try it and I right. fail? What if I'm not good enough? What if I embarrass myself? As opposed to when we try it, 
you know, okay, it's not for us, but at least we know now that it's not for us, and it wasn't as bad as we thought. Actual uh, studies have been done, psychological studies have been done that show when folks step out of their comfort zones, 92% of the time they'll come back and say it wasn't as bad as I thought it was. Now, I'm not a That's gambler, true. but I'd take those odds any day of the week. <laughs> So, yeah, I so, think I'm oh. with you on that one. <laughs> I'm with you on that one. And just, just touching on that part about, you know, stepping outside of your comfort zone, being a, a stress reliever, that is so true because can you imagine how much pressure, how much tension it is to try to be somebody that you're not? Oh, my oh, goodness, it's like being an actor or an actress every day of your life, not being yourself. That that causes a lot of stress. But our youth, they are so fixated on being accepted that they that they have that problem with just just being who they really are, like you said. You're absolutely right, absolutely right. But again, and, and so many times I've seen these students. I've seen students go on to write their own books, and, and just because they've come out of their comfort zone. And it's just great to watch when you see it happen before your eyes. Just you know, only good things can happen when we step outside of our comfort zone. Yeah. Uh, and the third, I actually have a story in the third book coming out this summer mm-hmm. about one of the students, and it's actually autobiographical because it ha- I lived it probably uh, five, five, six years ago. Uh, I, my comfort zone, I had a fear of public speaking. I mean, debilitating. I could not, you know, never in a million years would I th- thought I'd be you know, speaking in public. So, and I got invited to speak one year. This was uh, two days after Christmas. I think it was 2010. And ruined Christmas for me. Couldn't even enjoy Christmas because all I thought about was 48 hours later, I have to be up in front of about a couple hundred people and speak. And granted, this was only a 10-minute speech. I had note cards, so it wasn't that big of a deal. But it was still outside of my comfort zone. Hadn't done it before. Didn't want to do it. So get to the, the event that night. Going up, going over my notes, I said, okay, 10 minutes, not bad. No cards, how bad can this be, right? <laughs> so at halfway through the presentation, a gentleman comes up and says, hey, Jay, we're, we're running a little ahead of schedule. Do you think you can stretch your speech out to 30 minutes? Now, here I am, that's oh, like baby. a punch in the gut to me. I'm like, oh, my gosh. <laughs> I was like, I, I, I don't think so, but I can give it a shot. And they're like, okay, just remember, you have notes, just stretch it out, you'll be fine. So I said, okay. So they finally came to the keynote part of the evening, walk up to the podium, and say, you know, your typical opening, good evening, thanks for being here. I looked down at the podium to read my notes and realized that I had left them back at my table. So oh, at this no. point, I know, at this point, I have no notes. I have another 29 minutes and 45 seconds to fill of dead air. <laughs> but uh, something crazy happened, and I just locked eyes on some of the people in the front row and just started speaking like, like you and I are speaking right now, Cherie. And, and I ended up going the full 30 minutes. And it was well received, and that's when I realized I, mean, I actually enjoy doing this. And over the years, I've tried to hone that skill. But if it had not been for that, you know, who knows where my career would have uh, would have tailed. Right. So stepping outside wow. of our comfort that's zone is very important, and it truly is a stress reliever. Yeah, yeah, good, good story, good story. I, that's happened to me before, and I find that when I wing it, it actually comes out better, and the message comes across <laughs> to my audience better anyway because they feel your genuineness. They know that you're not just reading something. So exactly, <laughs> you're you're right. Definitely the story. And, and you know what? I, I appreciate you. Wanna, I'm sorry. Go ahead. You, I'm sorry. Go I'm sorry, ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> now, I no, said go you ahead. touched no, on fine. something. You <laughs> you touched on something earlier that actually is a great segue into uh, my next bullet point. You said, uh, you know, be yourself, and, and that's exactly. Uh, my next tip is, you know, be you, be who you are. And, and it's a recurring theme through my Young Adult Frontline series. Uh, and, and it's especially hard for youth today because they're younger, you know, it's more difficult because they're still discovering who they are. And, and so many times I've seen uh, the folks in school either lower their standards to try to fit in with a certain group or try to pretend to be someone that they're not to try to fit in with a different group. And, and every time, you, both of these roads – lead to more stress and misery and ultimately a, a crash back to reality. So I tell folks all the time, just as you mentioned earlier, you know, be who you are, you know, be yourself. Uh, in the creative writing classes I run, it's amazing. So many folks have such great ideas, but they're scared to share them because they're scared they're going to be made fun of. They're scared that people won't like their idea or they'll end up looking silly. And I tell them, you know, that's, that's what makes life interesting. The world needs more original folks. And uh, as you said, too, it's a heck of a lot more stress-free being who we are naturally instead of trying to Mm -hmm. to pretend to be someone that we're not. 
I mean, exactly. we all have original voices. Can you imagine? I know uh, you have books out. I have books out. Can you imagine? I always use the analogy. Sheree, can you imagine if yours and mine books were the exact same, uh, same voice, same message? And there'd be no reason to buy my book versus your book versus James Patterson's book. It's important. And life all... would be so boring. Life would oh be so my boring gosh, if you I can't even imagine. Boring. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't want to live in yeah. that world. No, so, not at all. But that's what makes life interesting. You know, if, if we come out and we be who we are, that that is stress free. You're not trying to, like you said, wear that mask or or act a certain way. Just be who we were born to be. That is about as stress free of life as you can live. But a, a lot of us have a hard time getting there, especially especially in youth when they feel like I have to act this way or I have to dress this way or I have to play this mm-hmm. sport or I have to be in this club. And, and you don't. It's where. Your passion, you meet your skill set. That's where you're going to thrive, and that's what I try to tell the youth today. Now, in addition to telling the youth, hey, you know, be yourself, step out of your comfort zone, give us three key ways that you would advise for youth to de-stress, and then tell us how you de-stress and unwind. Okay. Three key ways. Uh, I would say the, the first one, like I said, always, always, when you have the chance, step out of your comfort zones. Always be yourself. Don't pretend to be someone you're not. And the third one, and this is people sometimes, uh, this, this one causes the most conversation. I love it. It's remember that competition is healthy, uh, especially with youth today. Yeah. You know, they, the competition is, is hot and heavy with today's youth, whether it be yeah. academics, sports, clubs, any extracurricular activity. It can become very stressful because a lot of youth don't like the pressure, and they recoil from it because they're afraid of it or they don't want to engage in competition with others. But competition yeah. is healthy for us because what it does, uh, we look at it, you know, so many times we use, well, we, we use the phrase, well, I gave it my best, or I gave it my best shot. But a lot of uh-huh. times when we try our best, then we see someone else do better than we did, we realize that our best needs to be better. And because of that, we work harder, uh-huh. we study more, we bolster our confidence levels, and we actually become better all because we're being pushed by competition. So competition shouldn't cause stress. It, it should actually relieve stress because we're a better person for engaging in it. And, and remember, it's not about beating someone else or being better than someone else. It's just about making ourselves better through healthy competition. Oh, I love that. I love that competition is healthy. It is. It, it is. Because you're, it is. you're striving it is. to be the best. Yes, I love that. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, yeah, it, and, yeah, and I've been guilty of both ways. You can look at it as something to stress you out and to be afraid of and, and stay away from it, or you can say, you know what, Shuri, I'm all in. I'm going for it, and I may not win, but I'm going to come out better for it in the long run. Mm-hmm. So th- those are the three uh, three main points that I talked to today's youth about. As far as uh, how I de-stress, uh, yeah. we, t- we hit on it earlier. Number one, uh, I write. Absolutely love to write. Uh, just you know, and, and I'm always writing. Right now I'm in the middle of four books, uh, another young adult Ooh. book in the series, two books for adults, and a children's book. So just wherever the muse takes me, wherever I'm in the mood for that day, that's the book I'll sit down and write. And that's how ah, I de-stress. Okay. The other way is uh, uh-huh. getting to the gym. Uh, and I wish I could say I did more cardio, but I'm usually in the weight room. I need to do more cardio. That would probably de-stress me more. But it's just well, that well, discipline guess what? My angle. fiance is a cardio kickboxer. So I'll have to get you to his class. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I might be able to last five minutes of that class at most. <laughs> hey, t- tell him to take it easy on me. Baby steps. <laughs> Baby steps. That's right. <laughs> and, and the third way that I like to de-stress is uh, I- I'm probably uh, – as good at golf as I am at kickboxing in your fiance's class, but I love to get out on the golf course, just being out there in the open air, not worrying about uh, you know my score, but just being out there, relaxing, hanging out with friends, or even being in solitude, just being outside and, and doing something relaxing and fun like that. Wow, I love it. And plus, being around that greenery, it helps oh my to God. relax. It helps Beautiful. Go into blood pressure. Yes, the scenery. Green is that color. That I tell everyone either wear green or enjoy the greenery of the outside, and it helps you to relax, taking in nature. So tell Absolutely. everyone how they can tell everyone how they can get in touch with you, how they can get that series, the frontline series that you talked about. Give us all your information. I uh, absolutely thank you. The uh, the frontline series, as long uh, along with any of my other books, they're all on Amazon.com. Uh, you can find them in any bookstore if they're not there give them my name and they can order them. Or if anyone would want uh, a signed copy, 
They can go to my website and order, or they can book me for a speaking appearance or a writing workshop. Uh, and that is my website is J A Y W Foreman F O R E M A N dot com. Awesome. And everyone, if you're following me on social media, um, we have Josh, the social media connector. He's he's tweeting and he's Facebooking about all these amazing tips that we're giving. So you can look on my wall or you can look on his wall, Josh, the social media connector. Um, thank you so much, Jay, for being a part of Stressless Radio. Thank you so much for pouring into our audience this evening. If anyone hey, has I've been a, a big fan, so or, thank you. Oh, thank you. If anyone has a question or a comment, feel free to just press 1 and you can get through, and, and we'll uh, let Jay answer your call, answer your uh, question, or you can leave a comment. Thank you so much, Jay. We're going to take a quick commercial break, and when we come back, we're going to talk to the wellologist. That's right, the wellologist, Candace Camille. She's uh, going to be speaking at the event this Saturday for the American Heart Association, the Go Red. Um, that was mentioned earlier that I'm going to be a speaker at as well. So uh, make sure you stay tuned. She's going to talk about de-stressing and staying well. Don't go anywhere. You're tuned in to Stress Less Radio with Cherie Cofield, the stress manager, right here on May We Help You Radio Network. If you're the parent of a child with behavioral challenges that has been suspended, expelled, or just not able to make it in a traditional school setting, there is an alternative. Call the Metropolitan Day School today. Licensed and accredited grades K-12, through call 804-321-2595. Financial assistance and after-school programs are available. Let's turn this school year around right now at the Metropolitan Day School where Eagles soar. Call Ms. Thomas today, 804-321-2595. The Tanya Free and Friends Talk Show is happy to announce our partnership with the May We Help You Radio Network. You can now catch the rebroadcast of our Wednesday show every Thursday at 6 p.m. That's Tanya Free and Friends, the podcast, every Thursday evening at 6 p.m. We welcome your comments and opinions 24-7 at TanyaFree.com, Facebook and Twitter, or send me a text by texting the word Tanya, that's 72727. Tanya Free and Friends, and May We Help You Radio. Living life with a purpose. Are you frustrated, disappointed, discouraged with your life? Are you angry with God? What's holding you back from fulfilling your purpose? Are you struggling as a leader in ministry? Do you believe you have an end-time calling? If you answered yes to any of these questions, tune in to The Waymakers on MWHY Radio Network every other Friday at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. We are here to support you. Join us to get the answers that will prepare the way of the Lord in your life. Hi, my name is Leticia M., owner of May We Help You Network. I want to thank you for joining us and enjoying our host here on MWHY Radio Network. Please visit us online at MWHYradio.com and like us on Facebook.com forward slash MWHYradio. Tune in to learn more about our hosts and upcoming contests and our TV programming that will be coming to you soon. MWHY Radio, bringing together business, community, and you. All right, we are back, and you're tuned in to Stress Less Radio with Sharique Holfield, your stress manager. And we just want to thank Mr. J.W. Foreman one more time for pouring into our audience to talk about youth and stress and to tell us ways to help them to reduce stress, relieve stress, and definitely make sure you check out his series, Frontline Series. But now my second guest, oh, my goodness, phenomenal lady right here in the D.C., Maryland, and Virginia area. She's the chief wellologist at Pure Neuphoria Bed and Breakfast, and that's an event venue with a wellness touch. 
And so Candace Camille is our next guest. Hello, Candace. Welcome to the, to tonight's show. How are you? I am fabulous, Sherry. How are you? I am doing good. I'm so excited because I've known you for quite a while, and I've we've seen each other grow in this business of wellness, and so I'm excited to have you as a guest. Oh, thank you for just coming on even the opportunity. I just want to say congratulations on your event this weekend. Um, the Thank weekends you. are so huge over here at Pianoforia. I very seldom get out, so I'll throw it out in the universe and I'm going to have a full staff next year to be at the next one. All um, right, now I love it. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> that can get me away from here, so congrats on that. Thank you. Thank you so much. Tell us a little bit, of, a little bit more about Candace Camille, the wellologist. Oh, the well out. First of all, the well out. Well, that's probably the number one question that most folks ask me, especially on CandiceCamille dot com. Like, well, what is a wellologist? Like, what is that thing? And and it's a term that was made up by us, and it is basically because I think being well is just has a lot to do with being whole. It's more than just exercising and just eating right. It's a lot of components that go in it that keeps us well. So I teach you those components, all the components of just being well and what does it entail daily. So basically a wellologist is just a person that teaches you to be whole and keeping you very mindful about being well. So that's where the term came from. So and I do that with all of my clients. I've done that in my life probably for the last 25 years to learn that I am the one in the 1-800 number in order to get this call down. So I am the one, <laughs> you know, I'm the it. one that make this thing work no matter what. So, you know, I promised God a long time ago, yeah, I'm a cancer conqueror. That's number one of 20 years. So that's how mm. I got to be this wellologist. I promised to just teach and pay for what I knew about just being well, and that's what I'm doing. So, and that's what my business is all about, both all of them. You know, I'm just recently getting, I'm just getting ready to launch the Candace Camille Wellologist brand, and Pianophoria has been around for about seven years as the wellness space. So I've actually created space, and I love what you said about a uh, uh, stress, de-stress destination. Well, I am your local vacation de-stress destination. So. <laughs> <laughs> where you can come right around the corner of your backyard and come in and just take a moment to get these stressed, and that's that piano for you. So it all works hand in hand. Yes, I love it. I love it. And I've actually had the privilege of coming out to Pure Euphoria, and it is beautiful. You, you go in, I mean, and the food is good, too. I forgot to tell you all that part, but I love to eat, so I have to talk about the food. <laughs> but the food is good. The atmosphere is very relaxing. It's peaceful. It is a very, very beautiful place. You're right. You're, you're right around the corner, right here in the D.C., Maryland, and Virginia area. That's your hideaway. Once you go mm-hmm. inside, you forget where you are. You, you literally forget where you are because I was like, oh, I, I literally forgot that I was in, in, in the PG County area when I stepped in the doors. I remember when I had to go outside and drive back to Baltimore. <laughs> but it was a <laughs> and, beautiful, and beautiful place. And that's basically, and that's by design, I know. I tell people, say, so, you know, describe what you do over here in five words. So I tell people we have some relaxation, we got inspiration, we got some motivation, some education, and if you dare step into my personal world, some perspiration. So we have all of that <laughs> over here <laughs> over here to just pretty much make you well. So, and that's what it's all about. So I love the fact that you're talking about stress because stress is just so huge. You know, predisposed to heart disease, like where does this stuff come from? And a lot of it comes from the stresses that's in our life, you know, that we just, just keep building and building and building and building, internalizing and internalizing, and, and then things just truly pop out of control. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah. Now, I told you I was going to ask you, what are some of the ways that you de-stress and you relax, rejuvenate your mind and your body? Tell us at least three ways. Well, you know me. I'm a total exercise fanatic. 
because I know it's power, you know. So for me, my biggest thing for me is running. I am a true runner. I absolutely love what it does. It takes me outside. It lets me commune with God. It leaves my stresses there. I tell people, don't even drive around Fort Washington because all my stress is out on the street because I don't hold (laughs) any of it. (laughs) I love it. I love it. (laughs) You know, so it's like when I get out there, whatever that may have me for a moment, and I only let it take me for a moment, but when I get out there, when I'm done out there, it's done. You Uh know, I I leave it. So that's my biggest stress reliever. The other one is, girl, I just laugh. I just have fun. You got to just have fun. You'd be surprised when you talk about this endorphin, you know, these endorphins, I call them the happy hormone. You know, you want to get happy, just jump up and down, you know, and, and (laughs) you know, just laugh because when that hormone is released in your body, you can't be sad. In order to get the release, you got to move. You got to laugh. You got to scream. So you know how when you get mad and you may hear your boss or your mama say, you know what, just stop and take a deep breath. You know, just yell, Uh do something, because that's what releases the endorphins in you to just bring your anxiety, your heart and everything back down to just some type of normalcy. So I Uh just go and laugh. Girl, I I will laugh in your face when you're telling me off. (laughs) I'm controllably. So you're going to either think I'm crazy or you're going to laugh. Right? Either way, they're going to leave you alone. They're going to leave me alone. Either way, they're going to leave you alone. Okay, this chick is just crazy. So, so, and that's the other thing. You just got to go have some fun, and that's what you have yes. to do. You just got to do things that's going to make you happy, you know. So laughing, yes. dancing, running, those are some of the few things that makes me totally happy. And the other thing, other than just sitting quiet, because I love just sitting quiet or getting a massage or taking the things that you need to do just for you. Um, and those that, and I just do me. And the biggest thing I do is I go help somebody else. Because when you go yeah. help somebody else, you can't think about your problems, you know, That's and what's exactly going on. So I just take what I know, and I'll just go help another person or anybody that's just trying to walk in this journey um, of just trying to be well or just be better. Because basically it's just making a decision that, you know what, I'm going to do this thing, and I'm just going to do things step by step. There's no one big thing to do. You take this thing and you do it step by step by step. You know, I used to tell my I tell my grandkids even now when they're dealing with stressful situations, you know, I love what Jay was saying because I tell them to, to do, you know, red light, yellow light, green light. You know, uh-huh. and that means just, you know, before you react and then sit and wait. Because, you know, the yellow light, you're supposed to wait, right? Red is just uh-huh. stop. And the yellow light, you're supposed to wait. So I tell them, you know, just sit and wait before you react, right. before you go to the green light and go. And just think about this and inhale this thing and then react so when you get stressed out. So, you know, we often talk about that, and I still use that with my clients. You know, do do red light, yellow light, green light. Just sit and wait a little bit longer before you react and do something when you're stressed out. You know, so that's That's one of the biggest things that I do. Right. Yes, yes, yes. That's that's really good. And and, um, I love the part about the laughter because, you know, how we, you know, every relationship you're going to have some, some plus and sometimes another you're going to have disagreements. So <laughs> I use that in my own household. If, if Chris and I are at odds, I'll make a goofy face or something, and he can't help himself but to laugh. And what it does is it breaks up the whole mode. We're like, what, what was we even fussing about? What was, what was wrong anyway? Because we that's both laugh. He's like, you are so stupid, you know. <laughs> but you know what, so damn, and that's that works. it. And my husband would do the yeah. same thing. Like, we'd be fussing, girl, I'd bust out laughing. And he'd be like, you're so crazy, <laughs> right? Exactly. So that but definitely the, works. But that switches things. So you're talking about creating a whole shift. Yes. Because the bottom line yes. is that you have to, it takes about 16 seconds to shift your thought process. 
So when you go into just releasing your endorphins, it's an automatic shift. And just like Jay was saying, you were saying, and, I, and, and your honey, you know, talking to Christopher, just jumping around. Jumping around <laughs> is the biggest release of stress there is. You know, I tell folks, even for those of us that have reached 40, you know, the perimenopausal and the menopausal age, I tell folks, just jump some rope. Jump on a trampoline uh-huh. because it dumps equilibrium right back into place and you just feel better because yeah, that's what do. it's all about. So me, I run. You know, I'm outside. When you talk about laughter, I'm out like this little girl because I visit my 8-year-old self and my 80-year-old self daily. So when I'm out, <laughs> I'm 8. So I'm skipping and jumping and laughing and playing because we don't play. You know, we don't play enough. You know, we get so serious about, about some things. But, you know, sometimes uh-huh. you just got to sit back and invoke, invoke that little girl that's up in you that you're just going to play because, you know what, it's just not that serious. Same thing with exercise. You know, there's so much going on. You got to do this. Uh-huh. You got to do that. You know, I should be doing this. I should be running the marathon. I should be climbing Mount Everest. You know, <laughs> really? That's just not even realistic. The bottom line is, right. is that you use what you got, where you are, to just be better inside yourself. So do you have to go to the gym? No. Do you have to come see me? No, but we prefer you to come see us now. Let's not get it twisted. But if you cannot, <laughs> there's things that you can just do, jumping around your house, running up and down the stairs, mm-hmm. you know, doing some jumping jacks and stuff like that. But there is so much you can do. Just get out and go for a walk read your book, you know, there's um, about eight doctors that I subscribe to daily because I think all about being well is that whole piece that you need. You know, I heard Erica Baidu mention a few of them on the awards the other night, and I just had to smile. I was like, okay, cool, because the word is getting out, you know, Uh of the things that we have to do. And basically, you know, you have to exercise. Try to get it in daily, Right. So right, that's one of exactly. the biggest things that you do. And then you got to just get out and get some sun. You know, just air and sunshine and getting outside just have all kind of healing benefits that you're talking about with the greenery, especially this time of mm-hmm. the year. You know, then you got your nutrition. You know, you want to make sure you're eating right. You know, so with, that's so cookie cutting across the board. Like, what is this thing eating right? So, do I have to eat grass for the rest of my life in order to be healthy? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely not. Well, maybe just a little bit of grass, but but that that's it, just a little. But you don't have to. But you do have to eat some whole foods, and we got to get back to what our grandmothers and taught us. Just go home and cook. Because you absolutely uh-huh. know what you're eating. You know, we're such a microwave society that we want it now, we want it out, we want it quick. But you know what? You uh-huh. can go in. I've just developed these 15-minute flash meals from refrigerator to table in 15 minutes, and they're healthy. You know, yeah, so yeah. you don't have to. And it makes you feel good. So the things that you know you should eat to de-stress. Cashews probably is one of the biggest things you could eat. They're, 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 to eat a handful of cashews, they're say they're like Prozac uh, because of the tryptophan wow. that's in it. So it's things that you can eat that also distress us. So that's the doctor nutrition. And then, you yeah. know, you can meditate, you got your spirit, you know, you go have fun. But when you put all of that together, that equals uh-huh. you. That equals you. So you now become the priority. So if you start checking those things off, the stresses in your life and you know that you're doing this for yourself, it gets lesser and lesser and lesser. I mean, life is daily. There's going to be some stress because uh-huh. just like Jay said, there's some good stress that make us move. See, I'm that competitive chick. I, I, I'm ready to give it my all when I get stressed <laughs> out like that. You know, I'm gutted. I'm ready to go. So it's like but when you eat right exercise and drink water and doing the things that you know, because we all know what we have to do, uh-huh. but when we make the decision to go in and do it, because that's the biggest thing, and once you make the decision, now becomes the process, and that's where all of us get stuck at, the process. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> we use the hard now, now- words. 
Now, we have about one minute left for the show, so I don't want to okay. go without letting everybody know how to reach you so they can get more of that wellology and that, and that information that you're offering out. So tell everyone okay. how to contact you and what you have going on. Okay, you can reach me at um, and I'm at The Wellologist on all the social media, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, it's at The Wellologist and CandiceCamille.com. And what I have going on right now, on April 19th, I actually have the launch of Candice Camille, The Wellologist. And one of the things I want to say, I'm just proud to just be named ambassador of the Tiger Lily Foundation. So we've actually partnered um, yeah, to come in and work together on breast cancer for young women between the ages of 15 and 40. So it's actually a fundraiser, and you can get more information on that at TigerLilyFoundation.org as well as com because we're raising money um, to actually give to them to help this organization because they help these young women on the ground living through this disease instead of dying through it. So I absolutely love wow. that to be a part of this. So all the information is on both websites. So come on out, have some fun. We're going to be doing a little bit of everything. I said you're going to experience wellness on steroids. Awesome, awesome. Thank you so much for being a part of tonight's show, Candice. We're going to have to have you back again so we can talk to you and get some more of all this good information you're dishing out. We could have talked for a whole hour ourselves, right? <laughs> <laughs> yes, between the two of us, I know. Between so the two of us, you. yes. yes. <laughs> thank you so much. We'll have to have you again so we can, we can touch more on, on it. Make sure you guys visit her online. Make sure you visit Pure Neuphoria. I'm telling you, it, it, it is an uh a, a place that you will not forget. Once you visit it once, you'll definitely want to go back. So it's time for me to start getting my way back over there again as well. Um, I just wanted to let everyone tuned in tonight know, tomorrow, please watch the Dr. Oz Show. If you're on, uh, It comes on tomorrow at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'm actually a guest on Dr. Oz's show tomorrow. So I'm excited about that. Make sure you tune into that. Make sure you tune in to Stress Less Radio every Tuesday at 6 p.m. where we give you an hour of relaxation, rejuvenation, and education. Remember, stress comes from our challenges being greater than our ability to deal with them. So we're going to help you find new ways to deal with your stress. I am Cherie Colfield, the Stress Manager. You are tuned in to May We Help You Radio Network. And I neglected to thank our sponsors today, Capri Smith, Cherie Colfield International, and May We Help You Radio Network. Thank you, God bless, and have a great night.